Hello, everybody. I'll be on in just a moment. Me and Jimbo are just getting all set up. Isn't that right, buddy? Oh, is the music right? Oh, I think it is. Okay, wait. It's a little loud. Let's turn it down just a little bit. How does the sound sound? Is Are we loud? Are we quiet? Hey, Jimbo, say hi. Can you hear Jimbo? Maybe. We'll find out. Uh, if you can hear me and Jimbo, leave an emoji of a chocolate bar in the chat. And also, hi everybody, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm getting uh, the last stuff set up uh, and drinking the rest of my strawberry smoothie. You know, I thought, let's get in the mood. Um, and I'll be on in just a moment. Yes, and we'll play with Jimbo too. We'll play a little bit with Jimbo too. All right, be on soon. Okay, it said that it, we sounded a little quiet. Is that a little bit better? Kel, let me know. Oop, I'm gonna turn the mic down slightly. That might've been really loud. How does that, is that a little bit better for sound or nah? We're getting a lot of chocolate bars. That means they can hear us, Jimbo. You want to say hi? Come here. Say hi. Can you say hi? No, you don't want to now? Okay, you're shy. Such a shy boy. We're going to get started in just a second, bud. Do you want to try to play? Or is that just gonna rile you up? <laughs> you, you promise? You promise you won't get riled up? Okay.
All right, Jimbo, we're gonna get going. Now you're gonna be a good, nice, quiet, respectful cat. And you're going to not scream, and you're gonna go sleep, and everything's gonna be great. All right. <clears throat> ready? Are you ready? Hello, everybody. Jimbo just decided to flop on my feet. That's great. All right. <laughs> All right. What a start. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Today, we've got a pretty fun one, I think. Pretty fun uh, stream. We're going to be making giant chocolate covered strawberries. Um, this was a pattern from like what, two years ago now? Um, by the great designer, Drewby Zoo. This is not designed by me. This is designed by another Amigurumi artist named Drewby Zoo. I highly suggest you check his stuff out on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, Jimbo is looking a little chubby. <laughs> Emerald Turtle says, thinks you need a diet, buddy. He's playing with uh, some red yarn right now, which is great. Oh my god, he's so cute. I wish you guys could see him playing with yarn. Um, okay, anyhow. Uh, today we're going to be making this giant strawberry. I'm very excited. We're voting right now on which kind of strawberry we're going to be making. Are we making a uh, dark chocolate strawberry or a white chocolate strawberry? I realize also that my cam is a little wonky. Yes, it is. So we're going to fix that too. One second. I forgot to do that. Where's the webcam thing? There it is. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know if that was the right one. Okay. I think that fixed it. Anyhow. Okay, so let's... <clears throat> it's my cold gone as I cough a little bit. A little... It's it's mostly gone. It's like 90% gone. Uh, Jimbo, you got to stop tangling yourself up and all that yarn. Um, okay, so <laughs> let's get rocking and rolling and stop getting distracted. Today we're making giant chocolate covered strawberries. It's up to you if we're making a white chocolate or a dark chocolate strawberry. Um, so let's start by grabbing all of our materials. Uh, talk about what you need if you want to crochet along with me. We're gonna be pulling from our new seasonal crochet kits These have enough yarn to make either a regular strawberry or a chocolate covered strawberry. You can't make both I don't think I don't know though. I haven't really tried to make both but I would assume there's not enough red for both But speaking of we're definitely gonna need our red yarn today. We're gonna need some red yarn We're gonna need some green yarn. This is our green yarn. That's special just for the strawberry for this season and then we're gonna need our chocolate. So we either need our dark chocolate, which is gonna be our brown here, or our white chocolate, which, you know, will be our white. Uh, we'll need some safety eyes. I'm gonna be using eight millimeter safety eyes in this video. And then we'll also need some black thread um, or some black yarn. I'm actually gonna use black yarn today instead of black thread. Uh, and then we'll also need our yellow for the spots of our strawberry. Now this uh, giant strawberry is probably going to take longer than just one live crochet along. So I have a feeling we're going to be doing a live crochet along today and also next week for this giant strawberry. And again, these sweet stitches kits are available in the um, shop and a great way to support the channel. Uh, which we'll get to more of in just a second. Okay, so these are the materials that we're going to be using, and I'm using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton today. Uh, it is my favorite kind of yarn to use for Amigurumi, but uh, it's also our special yarn that's in our crochet kits, so it's great. We'll also need a crochet hook, of course. We're going to be using a size G 4 millimeter crochet hook today. We'll need a pair of scissors for the whole cut and stuff part. And then a darning needle for sewing in uh, 
stitches and hard to reach, you know, you know, the, the needle stuff. <coughs> um, yeah, we're going to be using eight millimeter safety eyes in this video. Uh, but the eyes and stuff are going to be up to you just like the chocolate. So we're doing a lot of voting today. Um, okay, speaking of, how has the vote gone? Ooh, we have a pretty good amount of votes, so we'll keep it going for just a second longer. Uh, in the meantime, let's talk about how you can support this channel if you'd like to. If you like what's going on here and you want to make sure that it keeps going on, uh, it's all up to you, kinda. <laughs> the support of this channel is pretty much 100% from uh from community from from you so if you like what's going on and you'd like to support this channel uh, there's a few ways to do so probably the best way or let's go with let's start with the free cheap way if you, you want to support but you don't have any money and you want to just be like hey i like what's going on here he's cool you should like this video down below subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the little bell icon so you don't miss it when we do more live stream crochet alongs just like this one you can also join the email list by creating an account on the website, clubcrochet.com. Uh, and yeah, those are all totally free ways to support this uh, support this video. Uh, Jill asks a very good question, um, which let's talk about the membership stuff. And when I get to the annual pass, I will talk about your question. So if you want to support this channel monetarily, uh, Thank you very much. Uh, the best way to support monetarily is probably with a Club Crochet membership. Members get access to the full library of tutorials. They get early access to future patterns. Speaking of, our new pattern for an eclair uh, that we made last week is now available on the website as a preview pattern. It's available for members only. So if you have a member level account, you have access to our new uh, eclair pattern. It doesn't have a video yet, which is why it's in the preview patterns. Once it has a video tutorial, I put it into the regular library because every pattern in the library has a video tutorial. So uh, that is a great example of what you get with a membership. You get access to my full library of tutorials, all of which have videos and PDFs and everything. Um, you get discounts in the shop. Uh, you can also get, if you'd like to support, um, you can purchase kits and merch in the store, just like our seasonal crochet kit. Um, we also have a bunch of other kits, including I have some giant strawberry kits that are, uh, I just restocked. I do not have very many, but I do have some giant strawberry kits. So if you want to get a kit to make a giant strawberry, uh, links should be in the description of this video, uh, or just go to the shop, um, clubcrochet.com slash shop. Um, uh, oh, yes. Oh, and then to answer Jill's question, another great way to support is with an annual pass, which gets you four seasonal crochet kits, one every season. So if you purchase an annual pass today, you would get this seasonal crochet kit, Sweet Stitches. You'd also get next seasonal crochet kit, which is going to be titled Space Crafts. And then we're going to go to the prehistoric after that. And then, well, after that, it's a secret. But there's another two more kits for the rest of the year. So we got a lot of kits coming up. Uh, and if you get an annual pass, you get pins, special pins for every single seasonal crochet kit. This is this season's pin. Uh, it's really cool because it's actually magnetic too, which is kind of neat. So you can use it as like a fridge magnet or a stitch marker holder, whatever you want. Um, you also get, and here's some of our other seasonal pins that are available for purchase, by the way, if you want to support the channel. Oh, that's not the last pin. The last one is this one. This was our first seasonal pin. Um, another way... Oh, oh, and if you get an annual pass, you also get a book. Yes. Now, this season is going to be the last opportunity to purchase, uh, to pre-order the book. Um, we're basically going to be putting all of the patterns throughout all the seasons, uh, all four seasons, into a big, uh, like, encyclopedia book of crochet. Um, it will probably be shipped in, uh, like, I would expect like end of summer. We need, you know, time to put it all together because all the patterns aren't even finished yet. So 
then you put it all together still. Um, so thank you so much for your patience. Uh, for anybody that has an annual, annual pass, you'll be getting an email about that a little bit later as well. Um, but yes, you will still get the book. Uh, next year's annual pass will not include the book. So if you want to get the book, sign up for an annual pass before the end of this season. Uh, which I'll mention that a lot more later on as well. <clears throat> okay. Finally, if you want to support this channel, uh, the last way you can do so is by tipping. If you really want to, you can tip me. I, You do not have to, but it is very appreciated and, and it's just very nice to see. If you do tip, um, you can do it at clubcrochet.com slash tip. Uh, there should be a link in the description. And if you do so, uh, I will put something out on camera to say thank you. I think we need to tilt this camera down just a little bit. I think I'm gonna be slightly out of camera. So let's go ahead and fix this just a little, like that. There's also a new pattern coming out uh, probably early next week, a new mini Garumi pattern. So just heads up about that as well. Um, okay, well, let's get hooking. What do you think, Jimbo? It's time to rock and roll. Let's start by ending our poll. What kind of ch chocolate covered strawberry are we making? Are we making regular chocolate covered strawberry? Or are we making a white chocolate strawberry? Regular. Cool. I'm cool with that. So we're just going to need our regular, and then we'll save this for another pattern later on in the season. Let's have a sip of coffee. Coffee is good. Someone tipped on YouTube and I missed it. Oopsie doopsie. Did I really? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I don't see it though. Hmm. I know, Jim, but we missed it. Well, could someone let me know who the person that tipped is? And I will put something out for them. Uh, in advance we'll go with what should we put on the screen Jimbo well we're, do, we're doing candy stuff let's put out a little tiny candy corn for them that's kind of cute we'll put out this little candy corn and we'll find out who tipped later he doesn't want to stand up on the own we're going to put this let's help give him a give him a hand and give them a stand. Stand up, little guy. There you go. Uh, da, 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 da. When the book is done, will you be able to purchase it separately? Absolutely, you will. Um, I won't be ordering that many. So it'll probably be... Hey, buddy. But yes, they will be available for sale after the fact as well. All right, let's open up this pattern. Strawberry, please. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna get started with just the main section of strawberry. And this pattern actually is totally free, by the way. Um, it's available at clubcrochet.com slash strawberry, but probably an easier way to find it is just by going to clubcrochet.com slash sweet down here and then uh, going to the Sweet Stitches catalog. Um, but I think you can also find it by going to clubcrochet.com slash berry. So the main part of this pattern is the strawberry part itself and that's actually where we're gonna be starting today. So we're gonna get started using our brown yarn and because this is such a big pattern, like I said, we're gonna be splitting this up into two live streams but today's live stream, we're going to be voting on uh, the face. So we're going to be making the bulk of our strawberry and making a face for it, which will be pretty fun. So if you have any ideas for how you think we should add a face, um, I am all ears. Ah, help, I'm all ears. And how has your guys' week been? How has everybody been doing? I was sick this week, but feeling a lot better today. Jules and I are going to San Francisco this week. 
Um, don't worry, we'll be back in time for the live stream. But it is her birthday on Monday. And so we thought it'd be fun to do a little trip. She also has to go up for work, so it's kind of like a double whammy. Should be fun, though. I haven't been back to San Francisco in a few months. There we go. Look at that. I'm actually using a stitch marker. Aren't you proud of me, chat? I'm proud of me. Is it freezing cold where you guys are as well? Or is it just freezing cold here? I mean, it's not that cold. I'm still in a, like a t-shirt. But it's definitely cold. I did not want to get out of bed this morning. I was like, no, it's so warm in this bed. And Phoebe came and went under the covers this morning, my cat. And oh, she doesn't do that normally, so it was a really nice, it was a nice treat. I was like, okay, sure, you can come under the covers. And there's something about having a cat on your legs and under the covers. It's so nice. It's so nice. Jalissa. I've never heard that name before. I love that name. Jalissa. Oh, hey, guys, guess what? I got... A 3d printer well I mean I got a 3d printer like three years ago but I haven't been using it I finally started using it yesterday um, here I'll show you the first thing I 3d printed one second let me go grab it here is my first 3d print it's so cute look at how cute this little guy is so cute. Some little tiny triceratops. There's a little thing right on the bottom that I need to clean up. But I did this last night. I tried to print a bunch of them, but this is the only one that made it. Because I don't really know how to use it yet. But it's so cute. Look at how tiny it is. And it's so detailed, too. I am so excited about this 3D printer because this means that I can start 3D printing safety eyes i can 3d print like little armor for my goblins and stuff i can 3d print like literally anything my idea of what i really want to know want to do um is i really want to start doing specialty safety eyes for our kits uh, that's a big goal of mine. So I want to do a bunch of um, like like horns and uh, like cartoon eyes uh, and spikes and teeth and things like that. Things that you can clip onto your amigurumi to give them a little bit extra like flavor. I think horns are going to be a really good one. So the yeah the goal is to start making. Uh, stuff for horns and teeth and stuff and then start adding them into the uh, the seasonal kits so that would be really really cool I know I finally used it I know it's been so long I'm just I was just so scared because I just I'm afraid I'm gonna get addicted to it and honestly last night I was up way too late messing with the design I started using blender like a fool Probably shouldn't have done that, but I did it. Uh, and so I'm learning how to make safety eyes right now. I'm making, I'm designing them on three on Blender. I figure once I get like a normal safety eye, you know, like one like this, then I can just pop off the top and then start using like horns and stuff on the top part. And I don't think I'm gonna make the backs of my safety eyes. I think I'll just keep using these little plastic ones, like these little soft plastic, because they're so much easier to pop on. So I think if I can just get the safety eyes in the same way, I can just use this, the uh, soft backed ones. You're very well, Michelle. You're very welcome, Michelle. I'm glad you enjoyed the advent calendar. Michelle enjoyed the advent calendar, Jimbo. Isn't that cool? I was really proud of it this year. Um, and I'm excited to see how we evolve it for next year's advent calendar. Because you know we're going to keep doing it. Jimbo, don't eat that. No. 
It's not real chocolate. And even if it was, I don't think you can eat chocolate, my dude. I'm pretty sure you can't have chocolate. Because you'll get sick. You're allergic to it. Um, yeah, let's see, what else can I 3D print? I mean, I could 3D print so much. I could 3D print anything. I was thinking it might be kind of fun to 3D print, like, a little face and then paint it and then crochet around the face. Like, if I were to make, like, a Bigfoot with, like, an actual face on it. I don't know. That was, that was some thoughts that I had. I'm just so impressed with, like, how... Look at how clean this is, too. It's, like... It's so smooth. I wasn't expecting it to be so shiny and smooth. And I got plant-based five uh, plant-based 3D print resin. So I don't really know what that, I don't know if it's like compostable or not. I would like to think that it is, but I want to look into that. But I just like the idea of using plant-based rather than like regular plastics. So we'll see. Hi, Moshi. How are you? Three. Four. Oh, okay, cool. We're on round five, by the way. And Jimbo is choking on some yarn. Stop it. You're gonna hurt yourself. Oh my god, you're so slobbery. You're covered in spit. <sighs> hey. Sometimes... We just need to hold Jimbo. There we go. Oopsies. No, I opened the wrong app. No. There we go. There we go. There you go, buddy. You want to say hi to the chat? Say hi. Wow, you're so bright in the camera. Hi. What? Okay. You want to go in your bed? That would be cool, huh? I'll set you down right here. <laughs> He does not want to settle down. He does not want to settle down. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Eight. Ten. Oh, we're getting to a slobber section of the yarn. Ugh. Okay, we just got to power past the slobber. Anybody else making chocolate covered strawberries today? Or what else are what else are y'all crocheting? I sorry, I didn't set up yet the way that we can see what people are making during the live live stream. That's something that I really wanted to get done um soon. Maybe I can try to get that set up the next week because I'll be up in uh, Sacramento, San Francisco and Sacramento with, uh, our website guru, Jimmy. He helps with all the website stuff and he might actually be able to help us set up the, like the discord channel so that when people post in the discord channel, it posts on the live stream itself. Or maybe I, I might be able to set that up too. Sorry if this is loud. I just realized that I need to turn the mic a little bit. Sunshine is making turtles for a game. Ooh, what game? Are you making the game or is this for another game? That's super cool though, regardless. What else is, 
What else are people making? Ivy is making daisies for a baby blanket. Very cute, very cute. Logan started a strawberry and is on round six. Hey, me too. I'm on round six right now. But you really need to work on your cousin's baby blanket. You know what else babies love? Chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> Zoe said that they found some camo yarn, is making a big dragon, and gonna give it a fluoro orange wings. That's sick. You know, we should do some crochet dragons for the Lunar New Year, actually. I was thinking about that uh, last night. I was like, oh, we should really start making some more dragons. Especially with our little mini Gurumi dragon pattern. Not mini Gurumi. Bonimal. Ooh, Sunshine, you're making the game? That's super cool. You got to let me know all about it. Text me, text me, or I mean, email me all the info about that. That is such a cool, that's so cool. <laughs> that's super cool. I've been working on my Lava Run game a lot this week. Like, a lot. I got the Kickstarter uh, stuff all, like, pretty much prepped. Um, I wrote the video script for it. I have been working on all the designs, so the logo is almost ready to go um and uh we're gonna start like i'm gonna get prototypes printed probably this upcoming week so things are moving if you guys don't know what i mean um we are doing uh or I, I made a game called Lava Run. It's a uh, board game where you control a bunch of dinosaurs and you're escaping a volcano. It's really, really cool. Uh, and I'm going to release it as a Kickstarter this summer. So that's the goal. So I've been doing a lot of research in like how does how do Kickstarters work for board games and like what is everything I need to know? There's a lot of manufacturing, like logistics that I'm trying to figure out and doing a bunch of artwork and stuff. So it's cool. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I've been putting a lot of effort and work into that this week. Ooh, Sir Pearl Gray made a neat pattern for the Lunar New Year. Yeah, his dragon, it the face of that dragon, that pattern that Sir Pearl Gray made is legit. It's very, very cool. I just wish that he made the body like more of like a long, like dragon body. That's my, that's my only gripe with it. But you can do that yourself, honestly. The face though is like next level crochet it's it's very very impressive work let's see we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Whoa, whoa, Gemma, whoa. Well, congratulations. Gemma said in the chat, they found out last week that they're pregnant with baby number seven? Seven? You're crazy, Gemma. You're crazy. You're crazy. But congratulations. You, My mom and dad always told me that the rule is you do not let them outnumber you. You have broken that rule a long time ago, Gemma. <laughs> Congratulations. That is, that's, that's amazing. I, I don't know how you do it, but congratulations. <laughs> Your sister hates me when I crack my neck like that. Sorry. 
sorry. This is such a like Christmassy kind of version of the song, huh? It's kind of weird. <laughs> Rod Zia, long time no see. How you doing? How you doing? The song is so weird. It's like playing backwards and stuff. Ooh, gotta scratch that back. All right, I'm on round nine, by the way, if you're crocheting uh, a, a strawberry also. Where are you at? Who, who else is crocheting a strawberry, by the way? Is anybody making one? And if you are, um, where are you at in the pattern? Are you beating me? Are you ahead of me? Jimbo, I don't know why you're laying here at my feet when there's a perfectly good bed that I made just for you. Whatever. Whatever, dude. Oh, what else can I 3D print? I was thinking I could 3D print buttons. That could be kind of fun. I could 3D print tongues for my Amigurumi. I could do, I could do like, um, like, what's it called? Hinges, not hinges, joints. So that I can make like action figure Amigurumi. My brain, my brain is going wild. There's so many things I can make now. There's no stopping me. One, two, three, four, and then an increase. How is Jules? Jules is doing okay. She's getting a little bit sick today. I think she caught whatever I had. So she's got a, she's just a little under the weather today. Um, it's not too bad though. She, she'll be all right. And it's her birthday on Monday. So if you get a chance, wish her happy birthday on Instagram. She's uh, knit by Jules on Instagram if you're looking for her. Cooper is making a big egg. Cool. Oh, yeah. Definitely could 3D print crochet hooks. For sure. I don't know how reliable a plastic crochet hook would be, though. Actually, here's a story. So when I first started crocheting, I um, used to go to uh, the Joann's near my house. Uh, I, I lived literally like walking distance to Joanne Fabrics. So I walked over to the Joanne Fabrics and I was I saw something online that was crocheted and I was like, you can make something out of yarn? You can make toys out of yarn? I thought that was so cool. So I went over to the Joanne, I grabbed uh, a crochet hook and yarn. I grabbed a plastic crochet hook and yarn. And then I came home and I started crocheting and I was crocheting so tightly I can, oh, I remember how badly my hands hurt. But I was crocheting so tightly that I broke the crochet hook. Um, and I was like, oops. So I went back and I bought another plastic crochet hook. I came home, I broke it again. I was like, okay. So I went back, 
and I bought another plastic crochet hook because I I don't learn because I don't learn. Here's the thing. I don't learn and I'm bad at doing things. So I used the plastic crochet hook again. It broke a third crochet hook I broke. And then I was like, okay, it's time to invest in a metal crochet hook. If I bought a metal crochet hook in the first place, no, the problem wouldn't even, even exist. Anyhow. So I think that was like the last time I bought a plastic crochet hook and probably one of the last times I've ever used a plastic crochet hook or at least one that's this small. Oh my gosh, that's such a good idea, Ty. I could do 3D pr printed piercings for my goblins. I love that. Your husband wants a 3D print six foot Godzilla? That's a big Godzilla. I've got to make a, uh, what's that? I need to make a, a Bigfoot for my dad. Because my dad was, I know the driving force to me getting this 3D printer. Besides Jules. Jules was also a big reason why I got it. But I want to uh, give him a, a little gift to say, look, I used the printer finally. Okay, I'm on round 12. All right, see you later, Tyke. Thank you so much, Weedo. How are you? Okay, I'm on, yeah, round 12. We're actually almost done with the chocolate already, which is crazy. That feels wrong to me but it's not. And I think after we finish the chocolate and maybe get started on the regular strawberry part, we can probably start to uh, talk about the face. So what kind of faces do we want to make for our strawberry? I'm thinking we do like a, I don't know. I don't know. I any suggestions? We can do goofy. We could do more like anime. -y. We could do some of those eyes like we did last week. You know, we could do we could do some like kind of like more cartoony looking eyes like this, like we did on this one, because that was really cute. We could use pink for like a tongue and make a like you know like a winking one or or I don't know any suggestions wow you still have your first crochet hook Zoe that's cool one two three four five I'm pretty sure I had a dog that like ate my crochet hook so I think my crochet hook is gone Whoa, Nicole is flying already on round 21. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, should we add our squeaker into this strawberry? You know what, we'll vote on that later when we're getting to the stuffing up part. We might actually end up finishing the strawberry today. I, I'm not sure. I don't really want to rush it though. I like taking my time with these. And I think it's more, yeah, I think, you know, these live streams are just for hanging out with people. Well, not really, that's not the, the I don't know what I mean. I don't know. I just think that it'd be nice to have like a slower project that we can work on next week as well. catch up you know oh Nicole started the strawberry before the chat ooh cheater cheater pumpkin eater cheater cheater strawberry eater actually you know what we could do is next week 
um, if our strawberry is like, and if we finish up the strawberry like really, really fast or something, um, we can do a, uh, a new pattern. We'll do like a strawberry, like a mini, like, you know, regular size strawberry pattern in the live stream. That would be really cool, actually. You know what I'll do is because this, I, I think that next week's stream will probably be a little shorter um, just because we won't have as much strawberry to make. So we'll, that's what we'll do. We'll do a, uh, we'll finish up the strawberry and we'll do a live pattern for a mini strawberry uh, on the live stream. And then I'll re-upload that pattern afterwards or something. I think that's a good idea. I think that that might be a good idea right there. I wonder if you could do a no-sew strawberry. Probably, huh? Going from top to bottom instead of bottom to top, maybe? It almost looks like dark chocolate. It is dark chocolate. It's not even yarn, Michelle. It's all dark chocolate. Yeah, so keep a lookout and then next week uh, we'll do an... Uh, We'll finish this and, and also do a small strawberry. But we still got a lot of live stream left today. We're, I think we're going to go till at least till three. So at least another hour. So we got we got a lot of time. Anybody been watching any new good shows they want to tell us about? I started watching. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait a second. I think I'm behind stitches here. I think I'm only did 42 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven. Okay, so I'm actually on six, seven. Oh no, no, I'm right. I'm 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 doing fine. I'm doing fine. Let's move our stitch marker up though. Um I started uh, or I continued to rewatch uh, Adventure Time. I love Adventure Time. I've rewatched it like three times. So I'm on another rewatch of it. It's such a good show to just have on and just like not stress. So I've been doing that. Um, I started re or I started watching um, the Traders. On Peacock it is a kind of like a survivor ish show kind of but in a mansion it's kind of like Big Brother style I love it it's got the guy the guy is the host from um, or the host is the guy from Spy Kids the movie you know the bad guy from Spy Kids um, I can't remember what his name was but he was like a weird like uh, he had his own TV show in the movie. Anyhow, uh, he's great. He is an incredible host of this show. I love it. Love the traders. Oh, Jules is in the chat. Hi, Jules. She's right down there. Hi, Jules. That's cute. Ooh, a gothic strawberry. That's an interesting idea. You know what? Let's start doing... Now that Jules is here, too, she can give us some good advice. Yes, Alan Cummings, that's the name. Okay, so... We're gonna do... Okay, Q&A is out. We are looking for feed, uh, we're looking for face suggestions for our strawberries. So if you've got any ideas on things that we should add to our face. So that can even come down to just like how you think we should do the eyes. If you think it should have a vibe. Someone earlier said gothic vibe. So, so maybe like a gothic strawberry would be cute. Or maybe you want to add like, like really rosy cheeks or a nose or teeth or literally anything give me any ideas you might have in the q a face suggestions 
Sweet face. That's a great suggestion, Ivy. Great suggestion. Go ahead and throw it in the Q&A if you can. Um, if you can't get it into the Q&A, uh, maybe Cooper can toss it in there for them? I don't know. Um, do I turn the strawberry inside out? Uh, it already, no, no, I don't. This would be inside out like that. That is, these are the wrong side of the stitches. Actually, this is probably a good opportunity if you didn't know the difference. These are called the wrong side of stitches. Uh, it's kind of more a preference, so there's not really too much of a difference between wrong and right. But you can tell the difference because this side, here I'll show you, this is the right side of stitches on our eclair from last week. You see how there's just a bunch of V's upside down? It's upside down because like you crochet from the top to bottom, but see all these little V's? Right here, I'll hold it this way now. Right here. That would be the right side of the stitches. I usually like to make it so that all the stitches look uniform like that. This would be the wrong side of the stitches and inside out currently. And you can tell because there's like these bars in between rounds right here, see? These little bars. And it just looks a little bit less neat than this side, which I think looks a little bit cleaner. So that's the difference between the right and wrong side of stitches. Pretty uh, easy to start telling the difference once you get going. And if you're turning around after each round, that doesn't really matter as much because uh, the wrong and the right side switches every time. But usually, f at least for my amigurumi, I don't turn around after rounds. So I just keep going around in a spiral. So it's always the right side. Ooh, a mohawk, a punk rock strawberry. Dude, that's a, yeah, I like that. Good idea, Jules. Ooh, someone said, I think someone in the Q&A said flirty. Is that what that says? Flirty is a fun idea. Yeah, flirty. Rosy cheeks. Punk rock strawberry. I I like it. I like the idea. We could do like like a kind of like a zigzag, like cheeks or something. It would definitely need to have like a. If it was gonna be punk rock, it would need to have a wink. I would say like like that maybe. Put the tongue out. I don't know. See, things are already starting to come together. Yeah, a Zoe strawberry, a Zoe strawberry. Exactly. <laughs> Zoe themed. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> we needed to have pink hair though. Do you still have pink hair, Zoe? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then an increase. The kiss face. Yeah, I do like the punk rock strawberry idea. Definitely liking that. Three, four, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's gonna be the end of round 14 for me. Cool, 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 cool. Let's keep on, keep it on. Now just two rounds of single crochet, so that's gonna be nice and easy. Ooh, your hair is different now, Zoe. How often do you change your hair, would you say, Zoe? Cause now it's orange and purple. I saw a video the other day where it was pink, I think. I think it was when you were selling stuff at like a, like a fair near you. I like that idea. The stem leave, stem and leaves into a mohawk with the, that's sick. That's a good idea. It's a good idea. 
And then we could do a piercing. Oh my god, we could even do a piercing like on the chocolate part of the strawberry. That would be fun. Guys, I think we're making a punk rock strawberry. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to... We can put it to a vote. We can still put it to a vote. And I'm still looking for any kind of suggestions in the Q&A. Maybe someone will come up with an even better idea. And those are welcome. Encouraged, even. Encouraged, I even. This is the first time you changed from pink. Well, what made you choose to go orange, Zoe? Rather than stick with the pink. I'm curious. You're like, uh, you're like, uh, what's that character from Scott Pilgrim? Uh, Ramona. You change your hair all the time. Love the idea of a mohawk. Heck yeah. Mohawk leaf. You can't type today. I can't type today either. My hands are occupied. Occupied. Oh my gosh, by the way, check out my shirt. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I don't think you can see it. Joel's got it for me for Christmas. It's so cute. It's just a bunch of cats playing with yarn. Here, wait. I'll go into the cat cam real quick so you can see it. It's really cute. I think it's way cute. It's very, it's very my vibe to me. Vibe, my vibe to me. <laughs> Zoe, Zoe said that they changed their hair to orange, but then realized that it was the same as their mom's hair. So now you have to change it back. That's so funny. You're becoming your mother, Zoe. <laughs> so funny yeah every now and then my mom will be like you should grow a goatee you should grow a goatee and I'm like mom what is your why do you want me to look like an evil magician and then I realized oh it's because my dad has a goatee and she likes goatees so silly <laughs> We're all becoming our parents. Just better versions of them, Zoe. That's what I like to think. Just better versions, hopefully. I'm very much like my dad. But he can't crochet. Also, he's much more rotund. <laughs> Dad, if you're watching, I'm sorry, but, you know. It do be like that. Uh, Susie, this pattern is totally free. It's available at clubcrochet.com slash berry. You can also find it linked uh, at clubcrochet.com slash sweet. There's a link right there on the screen. Uh, and you can f find links to get it there. If you want to download the pattern, you'll need a uh, an account on the website. Uh, but I think it's still free. It might you might need a membership to download the PDF. I'm not sure, but the written instructions are up there and shouldn't require a login or anything. But can I do metalwork? Good question. No, I don't think I can do metalwork. And maybe I could. I don't know. <gasps> I should make little swords for my my goblins and stuff. Oh my gosh, how did I not think about doing little swords and little shields, little helmets? Oh my gosh. 
Oh, we're done. We're done with that round. Okay, so this is the bottom part of our strawberry. That looks, doesn't that seem like too short though? I feel like we're supposed to go like even longer than that, but let's look on the finished one and see how that looks. Where is the finished chocolate strawberry? No, I guess that's, yeah, I guess that's that. It feels like we're missing some rounds, though. Doesn't it? If you put them in there. Doesn't that seem... Well, I guess not. Like... Because it'll go like that. Yeah, okay. I guess that is the right size. All right. I'll trust myself. I'll trust my past, Lou. Oh, did I think about swords and shields? I don't I don't remember thinking about swords. I remember thinking about buttons. Well, whatever. Sometimes I think of things and I forget about. And that's just the way it happens. You ever seen that video of that little girl where she's like, you don't like candy corn? Because why? Because it tastes like plastic? Why are you eating plastic? You ever seen that video? It's very funny. It's the way she talks is <laughs> very silly. Don't eat plastic, you weirdo. Ooh, a double dipped strawberry with chocolate, white chocolate on the top how would that work emerald turtle you know what we could do is we could do like white stripes which also would lend to the punk rock theme i think a little bit all right so single crochet one Half double crochet one, double crochet one, another double crochet, and then a half double crochet, and then a single crochet. And that's that. Easy, squeezy, lemon, peasy. I love this pattern. It's so easy. Strawberry chocolate edge. The white stripes are your favorite band. I do like the white stripes as well. I, I the, you know, you can't go wrong. Like if you put white stripes on, I'm like, yeah, this is good music. Yeah, like a white chocolate drizzle. That's what I'm thinking too, Jules. Oh my God, little instruments. <gasps> I can make a little band. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, you guys, I could make puppet mechanisms. Like, okay, so a long time back, I made this. Uh, he's a little broken now, so I'll need to fix him. This is my first iteration of Jack Gurgle, um, the puppet, the, the like, this puppet that I have. But this was a mini version that I made, because originally I was thinking, oh, I'll make mini ones. And he talks like this. Hello, I'm welcome. Da, ba, 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 ba. But, uh, and, and it totally works. It's made with like um, cardboard and a um, paper clip and stuff. And then a straw. And then you just like pull the mouth open and close. Uh, I've always wanted to like put more work into this design. But what would be really cool is if I 3D printed I could 3D print the mechanism on the inside. And then we can add it to a kit. Because I... Okay, so I've been thinking a lot 
about uh, season, so let's see, we're going to do season five is going to be space, season, season six is going to be dinosaurs, uh, and then I've got season seven planned. I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's a secret, but it's going to be good, and you're going to like season uh, seven a lot. But season eight, I'm kind of torn between a few different ideas. The first idea is, um, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spit some ideas out there. I actually, I'm torn between like four different ideas, really. But there's a couple ideas here that I think that you guys will be most interested in, and I'm curious to see like where the interest is, if it's more on one side or the other. So, the thought is, I could do either puppets. Which might be kind of hard. Might be a lot to ask for in that season to do puppets. Um, but it would be really fun. I think it would. I think I'd really enjoy that. Or we could do um, burbs. Now burbs is where I'm. I'm kind of leaning towards. Is doing like a, a season of of burbs and making like a bunch of different kinds of burbs. And then we'll do some new designs for them. You know, we'll make like maybe a peacock and like a like um, like parrots and stuff. So that's currently like where I'm I'm leaning. I've also got a few different other ideas for the first season of the new year of doing like um, wearables or uh, changing up to do like uh i don't know like like vehicles i there was a lot of people suggesting i do vehicles you know like uh like tonka trucks and stuff or, or cars and things but i'm kind of on the puppet game <laughs> I, i'm kind of like thinking puppets would be a lot of fun burbs would be great though i mean you can't go wrong with a burb let's be honest I could also go into the Bonimal game, like a whole giant Bonimal kick. That could be kind of fun. Okay, so we got our chocolate part pretty much done. I think we can just uh, basically, yeah, let's go ahead and slip stitch to our first one that we made right here. And we'll cut the yarn and hide this end in. And we'll start doing some votes on how to make the face as we get started with the red yarn to uh, start the rest of the strawberry. I do really like the idea of doing a punk rock strawberry though. I am, I am pro punk rock strawberry. I used to go to a lot of pop punk shows when I was a youth. In my in my day, I would go to pop punk shows and crowd surf. It's true. I've crowd surfed before. It's very scary. I hurt myself very badly. But it was fun. I actually think that's where my back pain originated. Yep, exactly, Zoe. So I'm thinking we could do finger puppets, hand puppets, the one like the original Jack. We could do, I've got ideas for like little simplified puppets. It'd be a, a fun idea to do like, like a whole series on different kinds of eyes and faces that you could do. I was also thinking we could do um, like, we could do like bobbleheads. I mean, they're not really puppets, but, you know, it's another fun idea that uses kind of a similar thought. Um, okay, we're doing a vote. Uh, we got... Blah, 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 blah. 
Are we doing a vote though? Because I, th I really do think I know what I'm doing here. What do you guys think? Do you think I, do you trust me? Do you trust me guys to do a punk rock chocolate strawberry with a white chocolate drizzle? I trust me. I do think it's going to need, so you know what, let's draw it. Let's, let's draw the idea that I have real quick. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Based on Jules's idea of a punk rock strawberry. So we got the start, you know, we got just the normal strawberry kind of vibe there. We got boo, shoo, shoo, shoo. And then, so I'm thinking that the face of the strawberry should be like winky. With like pink cheeks or maybe a different color cheek but I'm thinking the cheek could be like like zigzags almost like makeup like that kind of and then the smile we could do like this with like a tongue out and then uh, a piercing up here Like that and then like you guys were saying the we could do this the, the part on the top but like make it so it's folded up so it's like more of a mohawk so it's kind of like like that a little bit more and then the same thing over here so it's like, it is still the strawberry thing, but it's just folded. So that looks more like a mohawk. And then of course we got bits of the strawberry. And, and then the white drizzle part that I'm thinking is like, we do like white, 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 and then all the way around to the other side. So it's like a white striped punk rock strawberry. So that's kind of the thing that I'm thinking. Trust. Okay. Yeah, you trust me, cool. I'm glad you trust me. If you got any other ideas for it though, feel free to put it into the Q&A. Ooh, like Jill said baby strawberry and that's a fun idea. It's a great example. Let's go, let's start with the, um, I'm gonna start with the mouth actually. I really like this idea for the mouth. So we're gonna use our black uh, yarn here and open this one up. Come on. Gah. We don't actually need too much of it, so I guess I didn't really need to open up the whole thing, but whatever. So we actually just need like this much. That's actually maybe even more than we need. I like using like a full strand of yarn for the mouth of the strawberries because I feel like, especially when it's on this, this black, it doesn't like really show through enough 
if it's just the thread. That's just something I've started to notice about these. Um, okay, so we want the face probably somewhere around here. You know what, let's put on some eyes just for like reference. We'll probably remove them. Where are my... Where's my bottle of eyes? So we're gonna use these as reference for right now, but we're gonna remove one of them. But I just wanna have an idea of how far apart the eyes are gonna be when we add our um, smile. So like, Maybe like here, or maybe like somewhere like that. And something like over here somewhere. So maybe like over here. It might be a little far, but that gives me an idea at least on the height of where we want the smile to be. And then the mouth would be like down here. So yeah, we'll start here. I want it to have a little cheek because <laughs> they're gonna be a cheeky punky. So I think I want the mouth to come up to here and then out to here. This. Let's try it like that. And then we'll go kind of like that. You know what? I actually don't want it to go around that like that. I think we're going to do, instead of going around the yarn, I think I'm going to actually go through the yarn itself. So it's like, oh, actually. You know what, we might not even need to do either. Well, no, 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 let's go. So I'm gonna go in between strands of yarn like that. That way it keeps the yarn held into position, but it also like lets it sit on its own. I don't know if this is gonna work exactly the way I'm thinking, but like that. Out to there, and then we'll finish the smile down here. So if we pull it down like that, it would be kind of our little side smile, right? We might need to remove this and do it again. <laughs> the Mario Kart song? Yeah, I know, right? His eyes should be crossed? How is that more punk rock? Do, can only punk rock people cross their eyes? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, I'm pretty punk rock and I can cross my eyes, so. I'm pretty punk rock, right kids? Right? It's not bad. I kind of feel like the cheek part here is maybe not as nice as I'd like it to be. What do you think? Well, let's grab some pink yarn to make the uh, to make the mouth to make the tongue rather. I'm also debating using the squeaker in this. It's pretty punk rock, right? <laughs> Squeakers are like totally punk. What do they call this kind of punk when it's like pink punk? It's like cute punk? 
We went to a, I went to a cafe, or we went to a place in Japan once. Uh, not this last time to Japan, but the time before. We went to this place called the uh, Monster Cafe. I think that's what it was called. And they had um, kind of a punk candy theme. Ooh, that's pretty cool, actually. Okay, we think that baby punk, oh my gosh, is that what it's really called? Because that is, that should be what it's called. Kawaii punk? Could be like that, yeah. So we're thinking tongue like this, right? And then I think Zoe's right. I think that if we do the eye, winky eye, it will like make the the cheek part of this side of this mouth a little less like intense so i think that's a good idea yeah i want this to have kind of like a marceline vibe from adventure time i have been watching adventure time a lot the star eye is glam and i'm here for it says zoe all right cool that could be a lot of fun. You know what we could do is we could, I, I got an idea. I got an idea for what we could try doing for the eye. If you are here for it. Um, I definitely still want to do a winky eye though. So I'm going to do a winky eye. Get out of here. We're going to do a winky eye over on the left side here. So I think we're going to go from, maybe from actually, yeah, maybe from the inside of that stitch like this. That maybe. Two. And then up. that there that's a wink right and then okay so the idea that I have for the star eye if we want to do that is we could do a felt star that's needle felted on and then the eye is in the felt what do we think about that? Instead of doing an embroidered star, because I could do an embroidered star, but I might mess it up. But an embroidered star actually might be good because it'd be like, instead of like a solid star, it'd be like a rounded around it. Oh, Cooper, thank you. Let's add something to the background for Cooper. What could we add to the background? We're looking for something kind of candy themed, Jimbo. See, what do we got in here? Oh, this would be good. I was actually doing that. Yeah, this works. Yeah, this brown one. Jimbo, stop. Stop. I need to put this. I need to use this. Hey, you are tangled up. Bud, stop it. Don't worry. My cat is a crazy wild man. Hold on. Hold on, buddy. There. You can have that red yarn. I don't care. We're going to use this brown yarn to fill this coffee cup up for Cooper. So I have this extra brown yarn anyhow. So it's a tangled mess. We're going to put it into this coffee cup for you, Cooper, so that you have some yarn coffee. There we go. 
And we'll put this out for you, Coop. Thank you for your support. Oh, you came up to help with Jimbo? That's nice of you. Do you want to... Here, I'll show... Then you can show off your headband, too. Check out Jules' new headband. She made it. Here, I'll... You're not in camera, are you? Look at Jules' cute little headband. She just made that. All right, we're gonna, yeah, okay, let's try, we'll try the, the embroidered way then. I, I like that idea. Zoe thinks we should try embroidering the star. Using my tongue piercing idea? You oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> you could just put a little knot in the tongue. We, I mean, I could even just use. I it's could a, even just do this. It's a lot of things. No, because we could even do. I mean, but that's what punk is. You know? <laughs> we could do this. Punk is a lot of things. We could just do a pin right into the. Yes. Like that. Perfect. Just the smallest tongue piercing. I love Hi, that idea. Hello, hello. And the, the, the Jimbo. Kel just supported. You want to help me find something for yes, Kel? Yes, thank you, Kel. Uh, let's, let's see. We, you can go through the pot, the stuff all down there. Okay, Jimbo, help me. They're what gonna go through and find something for you, Kel. Thank you for your support. How how small are you? Um. Or big. It's it's completely up to you. You get to choose. I also think we should add a little bit of makeup to the side of the eye. Yeah, makeup for sure. You know, we can add that after we add the white for the star, though. Okay, we're pulling off the white yarn now. Got the... White yarn is free. It's very... weird to stay in this position, but that's okay. No, no, it's okay. Okay, I got one. Oh, thank you so much for joining Kel. Kel's heading out too. Kel, you get a flamingo bird. Oh, you added a flamingo on a seagull? Yeah. All right. A, a real imposter a, here. A very unique, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's totally, uh, yeah, it's going to make Wait, it. Wait, where there. do I put it? We put it right here oh, in the background. Okay, we put it in the background. Yeah. Next to the coffee cup? Mm hmm. Thank you, Kel. Thank you, Kel. <laughs> oh my God, I love him. There's our support so far. <laughs> If anybody else wants to support, uh, Jules will cho choose something mm -hmm. um, surely strange for you right now. Yeah, I'm in a mood. You're in a mood. If there's any knitters out there, the pattern for this comes out on Monday, the headband. Just in case you're wondering. In case. They were. I was. Oh, I'm glad you're making the eyebrows. Oh, wait, no, you're doing the star. I'm doing a star, yeah. Are you going to... Oh, what color are the eyebrows going to be? I wasn't going to do eyebrows. Oh. But I could. I if, especially if the star eyebrows. doesn't work out. Yeah, if the you star know, doesn't It work might be out. a good idea to do it as like, you know, like a... Like how... How you draw it? Yeah. It might be a little easier for me to embroider it that way. Right? You're doing it an interesting way. I'm doing it a little angled. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm gonna cough off camera. Okay. I'll see y'all in the chat. <laughs> Jimbo goes, yeah. Uh, that one's not a good spot for me. Maybe up here? Like that? And then over. That. Okay. And then back into or back out from here.
We're getting there. Over a bit. I'm gonna take this eye out for right now. We're gonna add it back in in a sec. Over to here. That. Come back out from down here and do one last bit. Over to. Okay, so like there's the star. And here's an eye. Which will go right here in the center. That's actually that is pretty sick. <laughs> That's pretty dope. <laughs> that is that is pretty cool. What do we think? I think that's pretty cool. And I'll add a little bit of black on the side of it so it looks like they've got makeup on top of that. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna double knot here because I am, I'm a fan of what just happened. First try, first try Louie, that's what they call me. Yeah, that star looks pretty cool. And I think, I do think that the star adds a little bit more to the punk kind of vibe. And we got to use a little bit of our white yarn, which I kind of wanted to do also. All right, let's see if I can add just a little bit of like cute eye makeup to the side of the eye on top of this. I think it would add a little bit more flair, but I don't know. It might it might not work. Worth a shot though. I can always remove it. It'd be like this and then over just a little bit and up like that. Does that add do you think to it or do you think that takes away from it? Just a little bit of eye flourish. Eh, I think it kind of takes away unless we did like a purple. Let's do, um, oh, let's do this. Well, first off, let's add our tongue. The tongue will be nice. So we're gonna add the tongue over here somewhere. One there and like one there. Right in there like that. I really want to pull this in as much as I can too. I'm thinking, and we'll probably add the last bit at the end, but there's our tongue. Yeah, that's cool. And, and 
We might add our white flourish to the back of it later also, but this is also gonna come later because I don't wanna put this in now because I'm gonna be like reaching in our character a lot, but just for reference, I think we should add this pin on the inside like that. So it's got a little tongue piercing like Jules was saying. And then I was thinking a little zigzag in white over on this side for some cheek, for some cheeky cheeks. So thinking like this maybe up over to here. We gotta lock this eye into place. There we go. Like that, and then... See, I'm thinking that we do like a little zigzag. One, two. Maybe that's too much. <clears throat> Let's find out. It might it might be confusing with the eye being a wink. Yeah, I think that kind of confuses it. Right? I mean, it's kind of cute, but... Nah. I think maybe just the one? I don't know, what do you think? We like the lightning bolt. Okay. Let's just make it a little cleaner then. I mean, even just the one does look pretty good though. Yeah, I can make it a little cleaner. You know what, let's do a vote. Let's do a vote. Okay, I want to see what you guys think about that, about what to do with the cheek. So I put in a poll real quick. We got lightning bolt, cheek, just a line, or no cheek. This is what just a line would look like. Here's the lightning bolt. I'll go ahead and get that made real quick. So you can see it, and then we can, re we can always remove it, obviously. Or I wouldn't be doing it. Like that. So that's what the lightning bolt cheek would look like. 
It does look pretty cute. But it might be like a little busy. That's that's what I'm a little worried about. I don't know. No, I really don't. Okay, you guys vote. While you're doing that, let's get our red yarn started. What do you think, Jimbo? Yeah? Wow, we're opening up all of our yarn today. Literally all of it. The angels, the angels are coming from above to support our decision to use the red yarn. What do you mean? This is how I always talk. Okay. We got We're going to use this all for stuffing later on. Ooh, you're thinking we should do it in yellow. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yellow can be the lightning bolt. Oh, wow. Pretty much everyone is voting for lightning bolt. Okay, cool. Let's do let's do another poll real quick then, since you guys really like the lightning bolt idea. Another quick poll. Okay, yellow or yellow or white for li the lightning bolt. There's the lightning bolt. Do we like it white or do we want it to be yellow? It is totally up to you. I I personally think white looks really good because it like keeps things more cohesive. But there will be yellow in like the little seeds too. And we'll probably do like a yellow or some kind of like uh ring on the chocolate along the edge too so that keep that in mind while y'all choosing that let's go ahead and get this started with our next color of yarn Should work around our brown also. Two. Three. That. Save that for our stuffing. Off to the side. Ooh, purple would be cool too, yeah. But we don't have purple in the kit. That's my only argument there. But is that I like that the idea that like if you were making this with our with the seasonal crochet kit, you could make it, you know? Leaf sauce! How you doing? <laughs> Joel says that this strawberry is already way cooler than she'll ever be. <laughs> no comment. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, okay, we're going to need to use this yellow anyhow, so let's go ahead and get it open. And... 
Jesus. Actually, don't really need too much of this. Should probably conserve a little bit. Seems like y'all are voting yellow pretty handedly. So let's go ahead and do yellow. Since you want yellow so bad, even though I'm pro white. It's all right, I'm allowed to be wrong every now and then. Once in a blue moon. Uh, I don't think green would really work for the lightning bolt. But, I mean, we could use green, yeah. We'll save the rest of this white yarn to add detail, uh, like, if we want to add white stripes or something to the back, which I think would still add a lot to this. Um, oopsies, I wish I memorized where I... Put that lightning bolt. I'm pretty sure it started here though. And then it went down to here. And then it went down there. Or you know what? Maybe it went there, 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 there. That's what it was. So started up here. Is that right? Dang, I really should have looked at that before I undid it. Oopsies. I think this is right, though. Oh, maybe this isn't right, actually. That? No, that's not, that's not how it was. I mean, it's not bad. But I don't think that's how it was. It looks like that part's a little longer than we want it to be. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I think I might have liked it more when it was white, but you guys voted yellow, so what, do you, what am I going to do? Actually, that is pretty cool. Actually, that's pretty sick. Okay, that's pretty sick. All right. Yeah. And then just, just for reference again, white pin in the tongue as our tongue piercing. Boom. Yo, that <laughs> looks cool. <laughs> that looks really cool. Okay. Zoe says, it's good. Leave it. Leave it. We on the stream appreciate Zoe's opinions. All right. All right, guys. I think that's a good face. We'll probably add a little bit more detail using white yarn for stripes on the back and like side, so I'm like thinking like it goes off the side, but we'll do that later once it's already sewn closed. We'll also add like a um, rings along the edge probably too and stuff. So we still got a lot more customizations to do, but that's a good start. Let's keep rocking and rolling with our red yarn and doing the top of our strawberry now. 
and let's end the poll. Okay. How many stitches have we moved? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're looking for 48. Eight, nine, which we should probably keep track. 11, 12, 18. Well, I mean, to be fair, Zoe, I think you are the, uh, the expert in punk rock for the chat. You're, you're, um, you, I think, have the most expert opinion in the chat currently. <laughs> so, yeah. So one time I, I used to go to pop punk shows pretty often when I was younger. Um, well, I went to a modern baseball show once and my friend convinced me to crowd surf. He less convinced me and more just like picked me up and made me crowd surf. Uh, and I'm glad he did because I don't think I'll ever have another chance to. But the thing, what happened was I crowd surfed. I ended up on the stage and I didn't know how to get down from the stage. I didn't realize I was supposed to like jump back into the crowd and they would take me back to where I was and they'd put me back down. So instead I like awkwardly got off the stage and then I slipped and I went like this one. Shoo, bah, and I fell on my back off the stage onto a mic stand and effed my back up big time. It was <laughs> later that night I had a huge bruise like all up my back. It hurt really bad. Uh... But uh, some big guy that was in the mosh pit came over to me, grabbed me, picked me up, and carried me off and put me in a chair and said, just stay here, buddy. You're going to be okay. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm all right. I'm pretty sure that is where my like back pain started. Like It was the catalyst to all my back pain. Uh, but I'm glad that I crowd surfed that one time. That was cool. I'm glad I did it. Even though I hurt my back big time. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen, seventeen. Six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, two, one, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are on count, baby. Let's keep on keeping on. We just have uh, to do. I think what we're gonna do today. I don't even think we're gonna add the the what are these called? Not sprinkles, but seeds. I don't even think we'll get to the seeds today. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up our, like stuff it, sew it closed, and then we'll finish it up the rest of the way uh, during the next live stream next week. That's my thought. I wonder if I could do like clips from the live stream for um like for a social media like a like a, a short. I wonder if I could do that. I could probably try that. Probably be worth a shot. You just saw the jimble pin? Yeah, the jimble pin is crazy cute. Here I'll show you on screen for anybody else that's looking for it. 
They're available in the shop. I think it's actually linked down below. Here it is. Look at how cute this Jimbo pin is. It is the cutest pin ever. I really want to do one for Phoebe also, but no one knows what Phoebe looks like. <laughs> but here's here's a mug that I have with Phoebe on it so you can kind of see how Phoebe looks. So I think it'd be really fun to do a one in this style, but that's Phoebe. She's a, I call, we call her a standard issue kitty because she looks like, just like a cat. Like the cutest cat in the world, but just a cat. <laughs> Ooh, Nicole's almost done with her strawberry. Dang, that's dope. You, <laughs> Zoe said they knocked out their lip ring with a microphone during karaoke once. Uh, punk rock. That is punk rock. That is pretty punk rock. What else? Give us more punk rock stories. Anybody else got a good punk rock story? <laughs> Ivy, Ivy's story is not punk rock, but we're gonna tell it anyhow. Ivy said that one time they were doing Crazy Train with a friend in a lip sync battle and jumped off the stage in heeled boots. They slipped and fell in the splits. <laughs> and it really hurt. <laughs> but you know what? You probably looked super cool. Super duper cool. Uh, Jeannie Bear, yes. Uh, Jim, uh, Phoebe is very camera shy. She's just very shy in general. She does not like attention. She really likes belly rubs though, but only from the people that she absolutely trusts. Only for people she absolutely trusts, which means that it means so much when she lets you rub her belly. It's like, it's like you're, you're worthy. Oh my gosh, that looks so freaking cool, guys. Look at how sick that looks. <laughs> that looks so cool. This, this is gonna be a really cool chocolate strawberry when it's done. I feel like I should get something different than just a squeaker from the inside. Like, it should be stuffed with like a Wah! Maybe not that, but like a, like a Wah! Maybe we could get like a, a Build-A-Bear sound effect thing. Although a squeaker, I, maybe a squeaker would be funny because it's so like opposite of punk rock. <laughs> It's baby punk. Okay, so we're doing four rounds of the single crochet. So I only have one more round to do here and then we start decreasing it down. sound the strawberry makes is just mic distortion is wait does it can you hear them strawberry oh oh i see what you mean yes yes that that is what the build-a-bear sound is it's just like that ringing when you have like two microphones close to each other it sounds like it sounds like a guitar being plugged in and then pulled out really fast I love the uh, surprise punk rock theme of this live stream. Baby punk, the surprise baby punk theme. I don't know if that's actually what that kind of vibe is called, like the cute punk, but 
I like it. And I think that it should be called Baby Punk. One second, I'm gonna put on a jacket, I'm cold. And look at this cute jacket. This was definitely part of the plan. I was not just grabbing the jacket that was closest to me at all. Look, it's a Club Crochet jacket. I need to put this in the shop. Would anybody buy it? If I added these jackets, it's like, it's got the Club Crochet logo on it. You can kind of see it. Here, Get the camera. See, it's got the logo on it. And on the back it says, I think it says get hooked. Yeah. Would anybody buy that? I don't know. Club crochet hoodie, yeah. I sorry. Saying jacket, I meant hoodie. So we would. Dope. Okay. I mean, even just one person wanting it is cool. I'll get it. I'll try to get it in the shop by next week. Because I, I think I can get it in the shop pretty fast. It's super duper soft also. And I think I can do a few different colors too. Cool. I'll add it. That's good to know. I'm glad to know that people would actually want it. I wasn't really sure. I just kind of like, I got it made because uh, I wanted to test it out. And then, I mean, like, I wear it all the time. But I was like, eh, I don't know if anybody will really want this. The chocolate being down like this is kind of funny. I mean, it's just for the, so I can access the stitches a little bit better, but it does kind of look funny. It looks like it has bangs. <laughs> it looks like the strawberry has bangs. <laughs> looks like, uh, like if it didn't have this punk rock look to it, looks like it would be like, uh, <laughs> what's that one, the one like berries and cream, you know, the, I'm a little lad that loves berries and cream. I'll have to download some punk rock Nintendo music next week. To fit the vibe more. All right, let's pull this back up. Hey, that looks pretty good. I can't wait for your guys' name suggestions too. Start thinking those through. We're gonna do that next week, but start thinking about name suggestions. Actually, maybe I'll post something this week to like get name suggestions early, you know? And we'll, I'll just create a, like a list of them. All right, let's see. We added the eyes, we added the face, we did the mouth. Now we're decreasing. Cool, so we got one. Rawberry, that's good. It's good start. Good start. One, two. Remember that, Zoe. One, two, three, four. Five. Six, and then our decrease. Yeah, we're we're doing fine. We're totally on count. We're totally on count.
four, six, decrease. Two, I wish I had, I wish I had another camera like on my hands here because, so here's, here's the problem or not the problem, but I want to get, I want, I want to take the live streams and turn them into shorts after the stream, you know? So that way, like we could be like, Hey, look what you missed. But also just like, Hey, look at the cool thing that we're making. But the problem is the quality of this camera, I mean, it looks really good and stuff, but like when this is cropped into like a this, it's too small, you know? Cause I'm like up close. So what would be really cool is if I could get a secondary cam, like right here, like right like here somewhere that was also shooting at the same time. That was just like a phone. So maybe if I get another stand yeah, maybe if I get another, or I can even put it into the wall, actually. Actually, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll put it into the wall. Like, I'll not drill it, but, you know, kind of. Hello, Amy, how are you? Thank you for joining. Wait, one, two, three, six. Cool. And that's the end of that round. We should mark it off in the check marks or we're going to lose our progress. Okay. We have got one, two, three, four, five, six more rounds to do. And they're going to get quicker and quicker. Four, five. We're basically just gonna close this up today and uh, we're gonna finish this up during the next live stream. I do, yeah, I, I, I have like my old iPhone. I just keep, I just kept it. And honestly, like the quality of the video on the old iPhone when it's this close is totally good. Um, so yeah, yeah, I just have extra phones lying around. No, I do. I have one. I actually think I have one like right here somewhere. Yeah, here. This is my like super duper old phone. But like that camera is good enough, I think. So if I just had it like on a stand right here, I could just shoot the whole time, and it wouldn't even it wouldn't get in my way or anything. I just don't know how to let it like sit there. Because I have to have it free floating. I can't have it connected to the table that the light box is on, or else every time I do a stitch, it wiggles the camera just a little bit. So it needs to be free floating. Like this one is, this one right here is actually like free floating. It's not connected to the, um, to the table at all. They're like super duper old phones, but the camera still works, so why not? Oh my gosh, we could even do like a simultaneous live stream on like TikTok or Instagram at the same time as we do our YouTube. At, at least in like the start. Oh my gosh, I could do a stream of the cat cam. Now, how do we get the 3D printer involved in this? No, I'm just kidding. Well, actually, maybe I could 3D print a... St oh, shoot. I could totally 3D print a camera, like... Or, like, a phone holder. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Four... there all right we're going to actually you know we're going to do one more round and then we'll start stuffing it four 
for in a decrease. Yeah, see, I think that it, we would get, yeah. I've wanted to start doing TikTok streams a little bit more often, but I just don't really know the, like, vibe. I don't I don't know when or where or how or what. When, where, how, what? Who, where, why? What? Huh? Since when? Wow, this was a really good start for this strawberry. I'm, I'm really, really happy with this. Thank you to Jules for the suggestion of a punk rock strawberry. I think that was a very, very good suggestion. Thank you to Zoe for her uh, expertise on punk rock uh, vibes. <laughs> and thank you for the chat for uh, giving me uh, good feedback and suggestions. I appreciate it a whole bunch. Okay, so that was our four and then decreasing. Now we can stuff it. Pretty good amount. Um, and yes, let's add our squeaker in there. I know it's not the perfect noise for it, but you know, why not? Why not? It's not going to hurt. No one's even going to know unless you really squeak it. It's not going to hurt. And hey, if you haven't yet, please like this video down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. That would be cool. You don't have to, but it would be cool. But it'd be cool if you did. We have just enough brown yarn, I think, for another donut, maybe. By the way. Which is good, because we'll probably need some for our other patterns this season. Oopsies. Maybe I add a little too much stuffing too early. Three. Decrease. Yes, on sharp edges and corner. That's a good idea, Emerald Turtle. That's a really good idea, actually. I can't believe I didn't think about doing a brownie sooner. That's a really good idea. I wanted to do. I did want to try doing like a like a um, a cinnamon roll. I thought would be pretty fun too. But like, I don't really have the perfect color for cinnamon rolls. I mean, we have like the. It's just the. 
jute yarn kind of looks like an undercooked cinnamon roll, you know? Like, so it'd be like this and this, like a mix of these, and then white to add the frosting in the cinnamon roll. But I just feel like this looks like too, maybe too light for a cinnamon roll. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? I was thinking of also doing, I was going to try to do a croissant. But the problem with the croissant is the same thing. Like a croissant looks like a little bit more of like a darker, um, like a darker beige than that. That, that. that looks like almost like an undercooked croissant color. But I don't know, what do you think? One, two, decrease U. Okay, only a couple more rounds to go. Add a little bit more stuffing. Jill thinks it looks fine. Zoe says that she has a hard time finding pastry colored yarn. Wow, crocheted pastries to sell in that bakery is like, yeah, you definitely should be doing that, Zoe. <laughs> you for sure should be doing that. That's just, that's just science. That's what science is. All right, just about done here, guys, for today's stream. Uh, next live stream, by the way, I, I'll say this again in just a bit, but 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time next Friday, which would be the 9th. Is that correct? If today's the 2nd, seven days from now would be the 9th. Uh, same time, same place, and continuing to crochet this strawberry. Uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe down below and hit the little bell icon so you don't miss when we come out with those live streams. Um, also, if you want to, you can create an account on our website. I don't know if you, a lot of people already have this, but if you haven't done this already, uh, it's a great way to get notified about things like live streams and new patterns. If you just create an account on the website, um, you can make a free one. It doesn't have to cost any money, but uh, it'll notify you via email when we come out with live streams, when there's a new pattern. Um, I try to just do like one live stream. I mean, one email a week. Sometimes I do two, but I don't do a lot of emails. So you don't have to worry about like overloaded emails. I will not do that to you because I also hate getting a bunch of emails. Squeaka. Squeaka chew. Oh my gosh. A squeaka chew. How is that not a Pokemon? A Pikachu that is like like you know the Alolan Pokemon where there was like different types? I know they made like the Alolan Raichu. Which was like a psychic version of Raichu. It was pretty cool that surfed. I mean it's surfed, like it's pretty cool. But a Squeakachu? Why not? Why not? Okay, last round here.
five, and then last one. Oops. Six. All right. Stuff up our strawberry as much as we want it to be. It's still like pretty understuffed at the top, so I have a lot more stuffing to add. Um, it would be nice to have a pencil for this though. Or here. Here's oh. yeah, our pencil. Ooh, okay. I noticed the stitches are wider than the fibers for sure. Yes, holla. What they just said, invisible decreases is going to be your best friend. Um, if you want to learn about how to do an invisible decrease, I do have a video on my channel about decreasing. It shows the three different kinds of decreasing that I use. Um, I call them the sharp decrease, the single crochet two together, and then the invisible decrease. The invisible decrease is the one that I always use though. Um, you can find a, that video by just going to our channel and searching how to decrease. Um, that would probably work. I'll, uh, I also am actually going to try reworking that video really soon. So, um, there might be another, a new version of that video coming out on the channel pretty soon too. Um, I think we could use just maybe a little bit more stuffing just in the top area. I'm kind of overdoing it, but whatever. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, it's still like a little like, see, it's holding its shape when we poke it. So maybe I'll add a little bit more stuffing. Oh, there you go. Cooper just put a link to the decrease video in the chat. Thank you, Cooper. You're the best. Cooper is faster than light. Faster than the speed of sound. It's the speed of Coop. Super Koopa. Koopa, the Super Trooper. All right, looks pretty good to me. Great start, adorable face. You can now add that pin in the tongue. Piece. Ooh, I almost just poked the squeaker. That would be bad. Oh, actually, maybe we shouldn't add this pin in because of the squeaker. That actually probably would be smart. You know what we'll do is maybe we'll curve the pin like that so that it doesn't poke the squeaker in. Go like this. Yeah. Actually, that worked pretty well. And now he's got a little tongue tongue piercing. Okay, let's sew it close. Wait, where's the squeaker? Let's squeak it. Great. Yeah, we probably should glue it, but whatever. I'm lazy. I don't want to get the hot glue and stuff out. All right, here we go. Da 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 da. All right, guys, first half of our punk rock strawberry is done. We'll finish this up next week. Uh, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, same time, same place. Like, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Um, but we're going to finish it up next week. We're going to make his their mohawk uh, green at the top, add all the seeds. 
um, maybe add some white stripes to the back uh, and then um, name them and then if we have enough time we're gonna do a bonus pattern for a little mini strawberry to go with our punk rock strawberry all right guys that looks great thanks so much again for watching super duper appreciated um, I'll see you guys in a week I hope you guys have a wonderful week uh, again, by the way, this pattern is available online right now. The new uh, Eclair pattern is up now for a preview pattern. So if you want to try this pattern out, um, give me any feedback that you might have. I'm going to be recording the video tutorial tomorrow for it. So any feedback ASAP. Um, but this pattern should be out on the website as a, not a public pattern, but with a video tutorial and stuff ASAP. Uh, but the preview is available now. There's also gonna be another new pattern coming out uh, next week. So keep a lookout for that. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Pasta La Pizza, happy hooking, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Oh my gosh, stop, you hang up first. You're so bad. All right, bye.